Hey everybody, this is Shauna from Shauna's Dream Light. As you can see, today we're going to be planning in my medium happy planner. And instead of just the sticker books, we are also going to be using free printables that you can find on Pinterest. I got this one and another one from Christy at sticktoyourplan.blogspot.com. And this is for personal use only, but this is going to be in my personal planner. And this is what it looks like. And we are going to be planning for the week of February the 12th through the 18th. So I am going to get quiet as I cut things out and start to actually stick things onto my planner. Um, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. So as you guys can see, not all printables are made for the Happy Planner. And you can rescale. Uh, I'm sure most of you know how to do that by now. Um, if not, I may do a video on that one day. Um, but I, I like to layer so it really doesn't bother me that it's kind of off scale some. And right now I'm just kind of placing things around to see where I may want to put it. Mm. Okay. So now that I've kind of gotten an idea of what I want to do, I'm going to take my washi I don't remember where I got this washi I keep wanting to say that it was the Dollar Tree but I really don't remember oh it's gonna be one of those days you guys where nothing wants to stick. I need my little card. Does everybody have special plans for Valentine's? I think we are, we both have to work 
on Valentine's Day. But we'll probably go out to dinner or something that night. We don't typically do a whole lot for Valentine's Day. I really like this washi. I wish I could remember where I got it. It's just little bitty hearts and they're multicolored. And it's so cute. Oops. Sometimes you just have to talk to your washi. <laughs> Sweet talk it into doing what you want it to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a little bit of a cold, guys. Okay, so now that that's done, what do I want to do? Um... I really, really like these two stickers. These are my favorites. So I definitely want these stickers, but I honestly think I may use Do my drink up there. I usually put these kinds of stickers, my habit trackers, off to the side, but I think I like that. And I do not have a silhouette or anything like that. I just buy stick regular sticker paper um, from online and then I just print it out on my computer and I cut things out the old-fashioned way so with scissors I do have a paper cutter just a little paper studio one which I absolutely love let's see if there's another I really want a solid blue. This one is really close, but I don't see. I've already used all of this color. Um, let's see if I can find. No, nope, that's the productivity. This is the only problem with having so many books. It's really hard to keep up with everything. Not in that one. Okay, 
So the watercolor, I just flipped open and I found this one. I really don't. Maybe they have another one. That's just. Those are the only ones that I can find. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, okay, actually, this is my best friend's birthday. So, I'm going to Possibly, let's see here. Mark. It is her birthday. Do we want to do it down here or up here? Let's do it up here. Okay. Oh, in the tiny book, there are adorable balloons. So we are going to um, use this one. So I already have this here. I'm going to do a date night for Valentine's Day down here. I can't remember if this book has any birthday. I'm not seeing any. So many. Maybe not. Do you ever find that when you're looking for a specific sticker? You can't remember which book it's in for the life of you, no matter what you do. Okay, everybody, um, sorry about that. My battery died in my camera. So just a quick recap. I believe we got everything, actually. Um, but just in case, um, I did find the birthday sticker I was looking for in the Mom um, Create 365 book. And I just wrote in my friend's name to mark that it was her birthday. So, moving on. Let's go ahead. And I really want to put this here so that I can just document some memories or things that I've done this week right here. Because I have two events 
this week, one being my friend's birthday, and then of course Valentine's Day. So I'm just going to peel the stick, the back off of my sticker. And place this right here. Perfect. Okay, I've All right, in the Trendsetter book, I found this Love This Day sticker that I thought would go really well on Valentine's Day. I actually think I'm gonna move that date night. right here. Perfect. Now, I do need to leave room to be able to write what all we do that day. So I may, let's see. No, I don't know yet. So let's move on to the weekend. Again, I'm just ah, peeling <laughs> the sticker back. Placing that right there. I am semi-prepared when I work on my planners. Huh. I have an idea of the color scheme usually or the certain stickers that I want to use, but a lot of it is just kind of up in the air. Not really sure what I want to do in most instances. I think what I want to do though is I want to come over to this sheet and there's some great quotes down here. Um, just do small things with great love. Wherever you go, leave a heart print. Life is about using the whole box of crayons. But I really want to try to get those two. Oh, I like this one. Life is too short to wake up with regrets. So love the people who treat you right and forget the ones who don't. Believe that everything happens for a reason. If you get a chance, take it. If it changes your life, let it. Nobody said that it would be easy. They just said that it would be worth it. I love that quote. So we are definitely going to cut. I'm going to go off screen so that I can pull this closer to me to cut. Because I'm just using regular scissors. So we have that one. And I believe I've mentioned this in a previous video. I cannot cut straight to save my life. It is just not something that I excel at. But, that is really okay. I found beauty in the flaws. <laughs> okay. So these are my three that I really, really, really like. I think... I only want to use this on Valentine's Day this quote 
I have so many stickers on this side though. That's okay. And then we're going to do these. I don't typically have a whole lot going on on Sunday, so let's do that. I like those. Oh, this would be... What if... Oh, I really like that. Mmm. I like that. I like that a lot. But I think I want to switch and put the quote at the top. this here. Does that look crooked? Not really. That's okay. We'll go down here. Awesome! <laughs> I definitely need to leave room. To write things that I need to do. You know, those things that we don't like to do, like go to work, go to the grocery, pay bills. Sometimes these stickers do not want to come apart. So what you can do is very, very, very slightly. You can actually put a mark into your the back of your sticker. I say that and then it doesn't work. And then it just peels up. So I think here. Now I like these with the hearts, so I may cut one or two out to use. And the stickers that I don't use in these kits. I don't just throw them away. I always put them in a folder and that way I can use them with other spreads. Nothing goes to waste. Okay, so I've cut out a couple of these. Just 
checklists. Do you guys hear my dryer kick on? That's what I'm saying. Chores. That's work. Stuff we gotta do. Okay, so we'll put one down for Saturday. And let's put one over here for Monday. Okay, I don't want to go overboard on the stickers because I do have some, some things that I want to fill out. So I'm going to stop with the stickers there. I ended up... I didn't use the bird. I really liked the bird. I think I'm going to put him up here. Just to cover up February. A little bit of the black is going to stick through, but that's okay. Okay. So there is that. Now the last thing that I want to show you guys is I'm going to make an insert. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a piece of scrapbook paper. And then I'm just going to take my page I'm going to line it up and just trace. should probably do this on the back side of it. Now that I'm thinking of it. Okay, so I'm going to take a piece, this scrapbook paper, and I'm just going to take and I'm going to put and mark where I need to cut. Because I want it to be the same size to fit into my happy planner. And because I cannot cut straight, I do trace the entire line. <laughs> and you can use a pencil or a pen or whatever just to do that. And then use your scissors. or a paper cutter. So, let's see here. So we wanna line this up. You guys see that? I can't even cut straight with a paper cutter. That's okay. And then line this up. And you have your insert. Now, I hauled these in one of my pre previous videos. I found these at Mighty Dollar. I guess I should turn it around where you could see it. Um, they're Office Max Clear Front Vinyl Pockets. And this is what they look like. And they have the sticky back. And what I'm going to do is I am actually going to make an insert to where if I take any pictures or receipts from this week, I can put them in here. So, I have, let's see. I want a really good quote to put um, this is a memory keeper one. Uh, let's look in the daydreamer. 
again, when you're looking for quotes, you can't find one. Aha! Here we go. This one has some quotes. Life is lovely. Go to your heart knows the way. That is perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here, I think. Follow your heart. That one would go really well right here. Okay, and we're just going to peel the back off. Just like a sticker. And then place that where you want it, on your paper. Um, start each day with a grateful heart. This is where the fun stuff, be, stuff happens. This is a mini book, but I saw some quotes. Are actually fairly large. Start each day with a grateful heart. Four. Sure, that's the one that I want. Okay, so as you can see, ah, nope, this is too long. So, what we're gonna do is just cut. Okay, so we're going to start each day with a grateful heart. So then you're going to take your hole punch, line her up, and then just punch through. And then this can just be snapped right in there.
for the week. And there you go.